Sup y'all, it's me, it's your boy Asmongold, and today I wanted to show you guys a few different ways that you can use the new 7.0 loot changes to your advantage. Now before I start explaining what the different ways are, I first want to explain what the changes are so you guys can see uh, what we're working with here. Now there have been two major changes in 7.0 regarding loot. The first major change is that all mobs in the open world are now multi-tap. Now multi-tap basically means that up to five players can tag a mob and up to five players can receive loot from the same mob. So uh, as an example, before 7.0, if you're like a mage in Westfall and you're hitting a null and you tag a null and somebody else comes and helps you kill the null, only you get loot for the null. Or basically whoever gets uh, gets the tag first, only one person basically gets loot from the null. In 7.0, up to five people, both of you guys in that situation would both get loot from the same null. And that goes up to five people. And so that really opens up a lot of different opportunities opportunities and possibilities in basically a way that you can quadruple your entire, uh, I guess like your entire farming spot loot drops if you're farming with a group. Very, very, uh, very, very lucrative. And I'm going to show you guys some of those different ways in just a second. Now, the second change is uh, a change with personal loot. Now, I have not been too big of a fan of personal loot. I know you guys might might mention that, but ever since I got Tesla Manor off because of these changes, I'm not really going to criticize it too much. So let me go ahead and explain what the changes are. Now, there have been a couple of different changes. For one, uh, the personal loot is supposed to be smarter. Now, we don't really know what that means. And also, another change is that you should you should be getting more loot from personal loot than you would get from potentially master loot. But the big change that they made is that personal loot is now tradable. Now, there is a caveat to that. That caveat is that uh, you cannot trade a piece of loot that you got through personal loot if it is an upgrade for your character. Now, the way that Blizzard defines an upgrade is that if it's a higher item level than what your character already had equipped or had, uh, I guess, like in their inventory or whatever. So, like, let's say you get a shoulder piece uh, that's like, let's say, uh, item level 750, and you had a 720 shoulder piece before, you cannot trade the 720, 750 shoulder piece. But if you got a shoulder piece in that same example that's only item level 7, and you already had a 720 you can trade the 700 shoulder piece across anybody in your uh, in, in your group so that opens up very very uh, a lot of really big possibilities now I'm gonna kind of explain uh, I guess like some of the examples right now and I'll also give you screenshots uh, that some people posted online that actually do prove that this stuff works now the first example that I use with the null okay let's imagine let, let's just change this up a little bit let's say it's not a null but it's a time loss proto drake and you have four other your buddies in the group and you guys are all farming that time loss proto drake and one of you guys gets the tag everybody gets a time loss proto drake and so that effectively quadruples the amount of time loss proto drakes that are out there uh, if you do this in a group and also it allows you to group up with other people and uh, get more of the mounts and so Basically, uh, you can cover more ground and do a lot more stuff with this ability. Now, also, Time Lost Proto Drake is just one example. Another example is the Zandalari Warbringer. Uh, that mob, that mount obviously drops uh, from for only one person before 7.0, but now in 7.0, all five people in the group are eligible for loot from that same mob, and so that means that you can get more bags, more pet. Do they drop pets? I don't. I don't think they do, but you can get them more of the mounts, and so that effectively quadruples again the amount of people that can potentially get that mount. And I don't know if that mount is tradable. Uh, if like one person gets it and then they already have it, then they can trade it to their friends. I'm not entirely certain, but one thing that I was seeing is that whenever I did, uh, we tested this with Alani as well. Alani is the uh, the storm dragon in the veil of the, for veil, the veil of the eternal blossom, veil of the eternal blossoms in Pandaria. And if you tag Alani and you summon Alani and everybody in the group still gets the Alani mount whenever Alani dies. So that means that you can effectively sell Alani to instead of just one person, but to four people. And so uh, obviously that's going to decrease the amount that you can sell to each individual for because it makes it more lucrative. So there's a lower break even point and obviously more people would be doing it because it is more lucrative, but you're still going to be making more money overall. Now this also comes into play with the same thing with the, uh, the sky shards. Now what I've seen a lot of people doing is that they farm wolves in the valley of the veil of the four veil. God, why do I always mess that up? 
Veil of the Eternal Blossoms, they farm the wolves in different areas, and then after like five minutes, they rotate around, and they loot all the wolves that their other friend is, uh, has killed, and then they start farming them in that area, so it effectively quadruples uh, the amount of Sky Shards that your group would be getting for farming that, uh, that mount, or the Sky Shards in general, or anything else like that. So it effectively, and this goes with anything else, like if you're farming a rare transmog item from, I, I don't know, like Tanaris or something like that, or uh, the Glorious gear, or where, wherever you're trying to farm it, this effectively quadruples the amount of loot that you can get for doing that, and quadruples the potential of getting one of those items if you're farming with a group. And so this is very, very important for you guys to know, because you can use this in all different kinds of ways. Um, I don't know if this works with Anax uh, in Deep Home, I'm not certain, but I've heard people say that it does, but I do have it confirmed that it does work with Alani and it also does work with the Time Lost Proto Drake. Now also, I'm sure it also works with toys, like the Missa Pandaria toys. Basically any sort of an item that you loot off of a mob, this uh, this new uh, loot change uh, can, can potentially quadruple the chances for you or somebody else in your group to get that item. Now the other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about was the personal loot changes. Now I wanted to explain the way that I got the Tusk of Manoroth, and the the way that I got that is basically the exact way that you can uh, kind of use these personal loot changes to your advantage. So what you can do is that you can make a group, uh, let's say for Throne of Thunder or for Siege of Orgrimmar or for any sort of old raid and get as many people into that raid as possible that share your loot type or your class. And so if you have like 25 warriors, let's say doing Throne of Thunder, now obviously that's going to be hard to do, but hypothetically if you do have that many, pe do have that many people, uh, you would be able to get 25 chances of receiving the same item off of that same boss. So that can drastically, exponentially increase your chances of getting that piece of gear. And that's what I did with Tessa Manoroth. I brought everybody in and everybody had a chance to get that on their loot table. And so that increased my chances or our chances as a collective raid to receive that item by 30 times. So there are tons of different ways that you can do this. What I plan on doing in uh, in Legion, especially at the beginning, is trying to do all of my mythic dungeons with full groups of plate wearers. And so like a... A Death Knight tank, Warrior DPS, Paladin DPS, and a Paladin Healer, like for example. So all of the loot that drops can be traded amongst your groups. And I definitely recommend for you guys to do the same thing whenever Legion comes out. Or you can do that now with Mythic Dungeons if you want to gear yourself out. Very, very efficient. Very, very good idea to do. Now, those are the ways that I found to use the new 7.0 loot changes to your advantage. I don't know if there are any other ones. And that's why I'm kind of going to ask you guys right now, uh, if you guys know any other changes or any other ways that you can use these loot uh, these loot changes to your advantage, go ahead and comment those in the uh, uh, in the description, or not the description, under the video below in the comment section. And the ones that I think are useful, I'll obviously try to reply to so everybody can just scroll down and see all of the other ways that we can use these new, uh, these new loot changes to our advantage. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much all I got. I hope this video helped you. Uh, it's definitely helped me. So uh, I wanted to kind of... Uh, I guess like pay it forward or whatever you really want to say. Uh, I wanted to help you guys, uh, you know, hopefully take advantage of this in the same way that I have before. But anyway, that's pretty much all I got. So thank you for watching and like, comment, subscribe.